today's video, I want to talk about the SQL exists logical operator. So SQL exists, typically it's used in a where clause. And, and SQL exists is just a logical operator used for the existence check of rows returned by a subquery. So it evaluates that subquery and returns basically a balloon value, true or false, indicating whether or not the rows were returned by that subquery or not. So we're going to talk about, well, why use it? Why not just use a join? And the answer is cardinality. So let's say if you understand how joins work, if you've got one row in your header table and multiple rows in your detail table. So for example, let's say we've got, we're talking about orders and we've got one row in the header table per order. But we've got multiple rows in the detail table, you know, for multiple items that we've we've we have uh, included in that order, and so we've got a one-to-many relationship. So if I do a join between those two tables, I'm going to wind up with multiple rows potentially per order, and that may not be what I want. So, and I'm going to show some examples using like let's say we've got like a couple of we've got some items in the detail table that we've canceled you know and maybe we've got more than one but we're just looking for orders that where we've only got one you know one or more that have cancellations in that detail table so i don't want to have multiple rows come back per order and if i just do a join that is what's going to happen so you're going to wind up with multiple rows per order and maybe you don't want that in your in the result of your analysis so here I've got a query and I'm just doing a select from my order header table and I'm just doing an exists. So this is the case where I'm looking for just the, the existence of cases where I've got orders that have one or more detail records that have been canceled. So again, if I just did a jo straight join between the order header and the order detail, in this case, and I had more than one row in the detail that was canceled, I would get multiple rows per order ID, which I might not want. Now let's take a quick look at the not exists clause. So here's a case where I'm trying to figure out cases where I've got order header records that do not have any corresponding order detail records. And so I need to perform a correlated subquery between order detail and order header and I'm joining on the order ID. But this is going to show me cases where I've got an order header, but I don't have necessarily a order detail record corresponding to that order ID. And this is useful for finding like orphan records and things like that. So another good example of how, you know, using the exist, but using the not uh, operator just before exists to try and figure out cases where things are missing. So I have uh, some queries here I wanted to go through just to kind of solidify what we've gone over. So we've got an order header table. And as you can see, there's a few orders I put in here. And there's a one row per order. You've got an order status, location ID, and then the date of the order. And then if we go to order detail, you'll actually see that you potentially got more than one row per order ID. So for this order four, I've actually got four rows in the detail table, all for different products, different SKU amounts, quantities. But you see here, we've got this canceled column. So it looks like two of them we've got in here have a have the canceled flag on them. Okay, so now we're going to focus on order ID four. So it's just got one row and header. And when we go to order detail, you'll see we've got the four rows. Now, Let's say that I want to, to get all of the orders that have a canceled status on them. So as you can see, there's two rows here that have a canceled status, but I really just wanna know what orders are. So if I do a join and I join on that and I filter on the canceled flag, I'm gonna get two rows, which I may or may not want. So let's assume I don't want it. I just wanted a report of any order that had a canceled item on it. And so I've got two rows here, and that could be a problem for whoever's trying to do the analysis on this. So this is where the exists come in. 
So what happens here is, is instead of having the two rows, the exists is just going to be a true false on the condition for any row that matches in the order header. So, and that's exactly what we're, what we want here. And so here I've got a listing of all the orders that have one or more canceled detail records on them. Okay. And then here's the last example with the not exists. So I've got a case where I'm trying to find out orders that don't have corresponding order detail records. And as you'll see, we had one, we had one order and it doesn't have a, it doesn't have an order detail record for it. And maybe that's okay because uh, that order is in progress. So there you have it. Those are some good examples to kind of solidify what we went over. Wrap it up for this video. Hey, I hope you guys learned something. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Please like the video. Consider subscribing to the, to the channel. And please leave your questions and comments below. Talk to you guys next week.